Welcome to this tutorial on simulating an absorption column using KPOPEN unit operation in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to simulate an absorption column, use KEMSEP column as KPOPEN unit operation, specify thermodynamics in KEMSEP column, specify pressure profiles and method in KEMSEP column. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 5.2 Classic UI and Windows 10. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS also, such as Linux, Mac OS X or Fossey OS on ARM. To practice this tutorial, you should know to add components to a flow sheet. Select thermodynamic packages, add material streams, and specify their properties. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. You can access these tutorials and all the associated files from this site. We will develop a flow sheet to determine outlet stream properties after absorption. Here we give compounds, inlet stream conditions, and property package. I have already opened DWSIM on my machine. Go to File menu and select New Steady State Simulation. The Simulation Configuration Wizard window appears. At the bottom, click on Next. Now, in the Compound Cells tab, type Methane. Select Methane from KEMSEP database. Next, add ethane. Similarly, add propane. Next, add n-butane. Next, add n-pentane. Next, add n At the bottom, click on Next button. Now comes Property Packages. From available property packages, double click on Ping Robinson. At the bottom, click on Next button. We are moved to Flash Algorithm. From default Flash Algorithm, select Nested Loops VLE. At the bottom, click on Next button. Next option is System of Units. Under System of Units, Select C5. Lastly, at the bottom, click on the Finish button. Let us maximize the simulation window. Now, let's insert a feed stream that enters the absorption column. On the right hand side of the main simulation window, go to Flow Sheet Objects. In the Filter List tab, type Material Stream. From the displayed list, drag and drop a material stream to the flow sheet. Click on the material stream MSTR000 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to absorbent oil. Now, we will specify the absorbent oil stream properties. Select flash spec as temperature and pressure if not already selected. By default, temperature and pressure are already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 32 degrees centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 28 bar and press enter. Change mass flow to 12,750 kg per hour and press enter. Now, let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under composition, choose the basis as mole fractions if not already selected. By default, mole fraction is selected as basis. Now, for methane, enter the amount as 0 and press enter. For ethane, enter it as 0 and press enter. Similarly, for propane, enter 0 and press enter. 
and for nbutan, enter 0, and press enter. Next, for npentin, enter 0, and press enter. For n-dodekin, enter 1, and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick to accept changes. Now, drag and drop another material stream to the flow sheet. Click on material stream MSTR001 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to feed gas. Now, we will specify the feed gas stream properties. Under input data, select flash spec as temperature and pressure, if not already selected. By default, temperature and pressure are already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 41 degree centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 28 bar and press enter. Change mass flow to 11,840 kg per hour and press enter. Now, let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under composition, choose the basis as Mole fractions, if not already selected. By default, mole fractions is already selected as basis. Now, for methane, enter the amount as 0 0.2 and press enter. For ethane, enter it as 0 0.4625 and press enter. Similarly, for propane, enter 0 0.3 and press enter. And for inbutin, enter 0 0.03125 and press enter. Next, for inpentin, enter 0 0.00625 and press enter. For indodekin, enter 0 and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick to accept changes. Now, let's insert two more material streams that exit the absorption column. To do that, let us drag one material stream. Let us now arrange it. We will leave that stream as unspecified. Then, we will change the name of this stream to lean gas. Next, we will insert another material stream. Let us once again arrange it. Leave that stream as unspecified and name this stream as ditch oil. Now, let us insert an absorption column into the flow sheet. Go to flow sheet objects. In the filter list tab, type cape. Click on the cape open unit operation displayed. Drag and drop it to the flow sheet. Add Cape Open Unit Operation window opens. Select Kempsip from the displayed list of unit operations. Click OK. Click on the Added Cape Open Unit Operation COEO004. We will change the name of the object to Absorption Column. Click on Open Cape Open Object Editor in the Object Property Editor window. The new unit operation pop-up window appears. Click on the field against Unit Name and type Absorption Column. Next, click on the drop-down against Operation. Select Simple Absorber or Stripper. Next, click on the field against Has Stages and enter 6. Next, click on the field against pressure and enter 2757906 Newton per meter square. Then, click on the drop down against thermo. Select Kempsip. Click OK button. Wait for a few seconds. The Kempsip cape open. Absorption column window will appear. 
close the KMSF window by clicking the red cross button of the top right corner of the window. Another pop-up appears in which we will click No. First, we will connect the inlet feed streams and outlet streams with the column. Then, specify the column properties. Go to the left side of the window. Under Connections, go to Inlet section. Click on the drop-down against Feed 2 underscore step 6 and select Feed Gas. Next, click on the drop-down against Feed 1 underscore stage 1 and select Absorbent Oil. Go to Outlet section. Then, click on the drop-down against Top Product and select Lean Gas. Then, click on the drop-down against Bottom Product and select Rich Oil. Now, we will edit the properties of the absorber. Click on Open Cape Open Object Editor. The KMSEP window opens. Click on Properties on the left side of the KMSEP window. Here, we will define the thermodynamics, physical properties, and reactions taking place in the column. First, we will define the thermodynamics. Click on the drop-down against K value. Select EOS. Next, click on the drop-down against Equation of State and select Ping Robinson 76. A pop-up appears. Selection of new US model will reset model parameters. Continue. Click Yes. Another pop-up appears. Use consistent EOS to compute enthalpy. Click Yes. Now, we will load the thermodynamic model parameters. On the left side, click Load button. Load interaction parameters window opens. Select PR.IPD and click Open. Available Ping Robinson parameters for the selected compounds are displayed. Click Load button. There are no physical properties or reactions to be defined, so we will not specify them. Now we will see how to define pressure profiles in KEMSEP column. Click on Pressures on the left side of the KEMSEP window. Click on the drop down against Column Pressure. Here we can select the pressure type to specify for the column depending on pressure. By default, constant pressure is selected. We will not change that as the column is operated at constant pressure. Enter 2757906 Newton per meter square against top pressure. Click on Solve Options on the left side of the KEMSEF window. Here, we will select the method to solve the simulation. Click on drop down against Method. Select to pass ideal K plus constant H first from the displayed list. Now, we will run the KEMSEF simulation. Click on the green button located at the top of KEMSEF window. This button is to check input of problem and solve. A pop-up window appears. Click Yes. Click OK. Click Yes. Click Done. Close the KEMSEP window. Now, we will select a proper appearance icon for the absorption column. Click on the absorption column. Object Editor window opens on the left side. Locate Settings section. Click on the drop-down against Flow Sheet Object Appearance. Select Absorption column from the drop-down. For better appearance of the column, right-click on the column and select Edit Appearance. Edit Object Appearance window opens on the right. We will change the length and height of the object. Enter 75 against length. 
enter 150 against height. Let us now arrange the flow sheet. Now solve the DWSIM flow sheet by pressing F5 button or clicking on Solve Flow Sheet. When the calculations are completed, we will check for Streamwise Material Balance. Go to Insert menu and select Master Property Table. Double click on the Master Property Table to edit it. Configure Master Property Table window opens. In the name field, type Streamwise Results Absorption column. In the object type, select Material Stream. By default, Material Stream is already selected. Under Properties to Display, select Object as Absorbent Oil, Feed Gas, Lean Gas, and Rich Oil. Under Property, scroll down to see all the parameters. Now, select the properties as Temperature, Pressure, Mass Flow, Molar Flow, Molar Flow Mixture, Methane, Mass Flow Mixture, Methane, Molar Flow Mixture, Ethane, Mass Flow Mixture, Ethane, Molar Flow Mixture, Propane, Mass Flow Mixture, Propane, Molar flow mixture, n butin. Mass flow mixture, n butin. Molar flow mixture, n pentin. Mass flow mixture, n pentin. Molar flow mixture, n dodecan. And mass flow mixture, n dodecan. Close this window. Move the master property table for better visibility. Here we see the corresponding results for inlet and outlet streams. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to simulate an absorption column, use chemsep column as cap open unit operation, specify thermodynamics in chemsep column, specify pressure profiles and method in chemsep column. As an assignment, Repeat this simulation with different compounds and thermodynamics. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorial. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The Fossey team coordinates conversion of existing flow sheets into DW SIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The Fossey team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The Fossey team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to DW SIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMACT, MHID, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Datta and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.